Broadway favorites Nick Cordero, Richard H. Blake, Jason Gote, and more will soon begin performances in the musical adaptation of Chaz Palminteri's A Bronx Tale at the Paper Mill Playhouse in New Jersey. We're here at the show's rehearsal studio in New York City to chat with the cast and prodigious creative team about the musical. Hey, with the two who might not be familiar with A Bronx Tale, the movie of the show, can you tell us a little bit about what the story's all about? It's a coming-of-age story about a teenager living in a predominantly Italian-American neighborhood in the Bronx, New York, in the late 1960s. It's a love story between him and a, and a girl from a different side of town, and it's really about what it means to grow up and make choices, and um, the consequences of those choices. When you and Chaz worked on this one-man show, the Broadway revival, did you have any idea that it would turn into this? <laughs> No, I never, I never even thought about it as a musical. Uh, I had too much work to do to make the one-man show. But jazz is brilliant. Somewhere in the back of my head, I always thought it, it, it had the great, had great potential to be a musical. You know, it's great to have Bob because he directed the movie, and it's great to have Jerry because he directed the one-man show. So you get the best of both elements that they both talk and we talk together. So things that we could use, you know, uh, you know, we do. The themes of the film and the story are so far-reaching uh, and so broad. You know, they deal with, you know, good and evil, uh, love and fear, uh, growing up, coming of age, which are pretty, uh, they're pretty special things to sing about. What will the music be like in this show? The music in this show is very much a representation of the generation. It's very doo-woppy and shoop, shoop. We've got the sounds of all the sounds of the 60s, Motown, uh, everything sort of in this big swirl in this neighborhood. So we had a lot to pull and pick and choose from and it's all in there. I mean I think we really sort of captured the feel of the streets in that era. It's a fascinating world, the, the world of these wise guys. Um, the idea of bringing that to the musical stage is it's exciting. You how to throw them dice, pick them up and make them treat you nice. Here's a little bit of free advice. Listen to Sonny, we'll make some money. Keep it quiet when you shake them bones. Close the doors and disconnect the bones. Cause you wanna hear these losers groans. Let's start the bet and ready, get set, roll on. You're my lucky charm, roll on. Use that lucky amazing arm. Why was everyone, do you think, so eager to jump at the opportunity to work on this show? With this team, with this story, with this music, with this cast, I mean, it, it just go, I have to be a part of that. And what do you love about being part of this music? I love the amazing cast that's in it. It's so fun during rehearsals to watch them all doing their parts, and it's such a great show. I think it's actually one of my favorite shows like in the world. You're going to have such an eclectic mix of audience members who come to see the show. You'll have people familiar with the movie and also people new to the story. What are you most excited for them to experience and see? What the musical says, at, you know, at the end. At the, the sentiment about the father, son, the two fathers. One represents one thing, one represents another thing. Good, bad, if you want. It's like a fable, a morality tale, I guess. So all, all those uh, complexities as there are in life. It's a great story. It's a great story, and I think it's got a universality that will grab the audience. It's a story ultimately about love, but it's about family, it's about young love. Um, it's about making the choice between love and fear, which is something that, that the show explores a lot. It's just a really good story, and there's so many elements of it that people can relate to, and it's so relevant also. One of the many reasons the film was so acclaimed is that it was both very funny while also very touching. How has that balance carried over into the musical? Well, I think it has. I think, I think in a musical, it has to be real. It has to be real. It has to be funny, not a musical comedy, but funny, but touching. Hitchcock used to say, there's only three things you can do to an audience, and if you do two out of three, you're doing good. He said you can make them laugh, you can make them cry, or you can scare them. And I think in Bronx Tale we do all three. 